Well, Google announcing a new, more affordable, custom-built ARM-based server chip. Now, the processor will be available later in the year, showing a move to compete with the likes of Amazon and Microsoft in the cloud computing space. Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley is closely tracking the details on this announcement. Dan. That's right, Shona. This is the Axion chip. It's a CPU rather than uh, a GPU or even a TPU that we've seen some companies introduce uh, on their own. Basically, what a CPU is, it's, well, the, the brains of a computer, and uh, they're not really uh, set up properly for AI acceleration. That's why we have GPUs and these TPUs, tensor processing units, uh, but they are used for everyday tasks. And so uh, Intel is the one of the largest CPU makers in the world, especially when it comes to data centers. And so this means that Google will essentially be competing with Intel to a degree uh, by putting out its its own CPU. Now, uh, NVIDIA also has its own CPU. Uh, they pair that with their uh, Blackwell chips as well as their Hopper chips, it's the Grace CPU. Uh, but this is uh, Google's own. And just to give you some of the, the numbers that they're they're throwing out there as far as overall performance, they say uh, you uh, it delivers up to 30% better performance than the fastest general purpose ARM-based instances available in the cloud today. Those are uh, ARM-based chips that are also available, such as NVIDIA's uh, Grace chip. Uh, and it says it has up to 50% better performance and 60% better energy efficiency than comparable current generation x86-based instances. Essentially saying Intel without saying Intel. That's mm -hmm. what you would call an x86. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they're, they're basically kind of touting this uh, energy efficiency and performance gain uh, for their applications. And they say they're already using it uh, in some of their own uh, applications. They're using it for things like YouTube ads, uh, BigQuery, Blogstore, uh, Google Earth Engine. Uh, and so those are now running uh, on these, these uh, CPU chips that Google is building on their own. All right, Dan Halley, thanks so much for breaking that down for us. Again, we're seeing Google move on the news here in early market action.